Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check this out. This is a big old fashioned lithium battery. We got a big one here today. This is from Redudu and it is a beast of a battery going to be part of the entire new solar setup that we are putting here on the farm. I've got a whole series that I'm working on for this and this is going to be a big part, kind of a cornerstone of it. Battery power being the gas tank of your energy setup if you're going to try to go off grid. Uh, and I've got this whole series planned out here where I'll show you our expansion. But for tonight, let's go ahead and open up this gas tank and see what we got. It looked like a nice, good-sized battery. All right, let's see what we got here. So, nice, uh, nice Ziploc there. That's kind of cool. It's kind of an interesting name there. The Re Red Odo, Redudu, whatever it is. 25 volt, 100 amp hour. It's a big girl. It's a big girl. And it is, uh, it's, it's got, it's 8.2 inches wide, 21 inches long, and 8.5 inches tall. 200, or I'm sorry, 2,560 watts of uh, storable energy in this thing. And it does talk about, it's got some pretty nice stuff here. I'll come closer here, you can see the manual. It has a nice full color manual in good English here. Series and parallel connections, how to estimate uh, battery capacity. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of good info here. Talks about uh, you know amp hours, all that stuff. Things to know before using. Recharge it every couple of months. Current versus wattage. I mean, this thing's got some pretty cool stuff here. Recommended power for just this battery alone is 600 watts of solar. To give you an idea, uh, when you're sizing stuff, you know, <laughs> it takes quite a bit of batteries or tw quite a bit of solar, I should say, to power 100 amp hours at 24 volts there, but. And then it has series and parallel connection examples. So I like that. That's cool. They're not leaving you stranded here. Then it looks like, and this is also kind of cool, you got some stickers. So you got uh, stickers for your camper. It shows um, RVs, campers, and of course houses as well. Long-term storage. Recharge every three months. It's recommended to be stored between 10 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius, which is 50 to 95. Interesting. Well, I can tell you that I, I, I mean, we're well below that today. You can see I've got a jacket on, so clearly I'm not able to store it at those temperatures, but close, not too, too bad. All right, and, and yes, I like this, check this out. It's got a little sticker telling you, hey, don't throw away the foam. The bolts for the top of the battery are in that. So uh, I appreciate them doing that because I probably would have thrown that out. All right, let me dump this on the ground. There we go. It's very colorful. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they have that. So up here on top, positive and negative connections. I'll go ahead and unscrew those. And we'll put our little bolts in. Nice. And the bolts also come with protective caps, which is cool. Nice. So it actually came with four bolts. That's cool. We'll go ahead and insert those. So this is lithium, you know, LiPo 4 batteries. These are uh, going to give you twice the capacity of a lead acid battery or a gel cell battery or an AGM battery. If you've watched any of my videos on the subject, you'll know what I'm talking about. But a lead acid battery uh, of this size is going to say, well, it's a 100 amp hour battery at 20 at 4 volts or 25.6 at full charge. Except you can only bring a lead acid battery down to 50% of its stated capacity. In other words, 50% is 58 amp hours instead of 100 amp hours. So you actually would need two of these as lead acid batteries to equal the storable juice of this one right here. And I mean, we're getting to the point now where it's actually more cost effective in every way you can think of to go with lithium batteries if you're going to build a solar system or going to have an off-grid setup. Uh, when I was pricing it out, we looked at, um, gosh, let's see here. I can't remember the brand, but they were AGM glass mat batteries. They had like a, a six-year warranty, which is pretty impressive for, a, um, you know, a glass mat battery, a, a conventional lead acid type battery. But unfortunately, the cost and the weight, holy cow. So this thing, you know, it's not, it's not lightweight, but it, if this was lead acid, I probably would need a helping hand to lift it off the table. I mean, it's about half, sometimes even 
less than half of the weight if you're going with lithium versus lead acid. So that's a huge bonus right there, especially if you're talking about an RV or a van camper or something like that where you got to haul that weight around. You know, you're looking at fuel economy issues if you're hauling six or seven lead acid batteries in your car. So for that reason alone, this is probably worth a, worth a shot here. And yeah, let's take a look at the casing here. I like the fact that it's got good, good strong nylon rope handles here. And it pretty much just is what it is. It says, what does it say? Younger, bolder, stronger. Redopower.com. Uh, and uh, lithium, iron, phosphate, deep cell battery. The best part about these is if you were to build a system, let's say you had a cabin and you were planning on eventually building a house out there, which a lot of people do out my way, and you didn't want to have power out there or it's too far from the power lines to afford that, you could set up 600 watts of solar, this, a small inverter, and a small uh, charge controller, and you'd be rocking and rolling. You could probably power your lights, charge your laptop, whatever it is you're doing out there with, you know, consideration for the fact that you're not going to be running an AC unit or anything high amperage like a water heater. You could do that. The best part is, if you upgrade your system, that doesn't make this obsolete. And I think that's one of the reasons that I've been collecting so many of these in preparation of building a larger system. I keep adding all the batteries I get to the system that I have. And now I'm up to the point where you can link this battery in series and in parallel to equal the voltage and amperage that you're looking for. So this being a 25 volt or 24 volt battery, I have another 24 volt 100 amp hour battery. I'm going to link those in series, that'll give me 48 volts at a 100 amp hour. And I have another set of those that I'm also going to link into series. And then I will link those in parallel. So I'll have 48 volts, 100 amp hours, 48 volts, 100 amp hours, giving me 48 volts at 200 amp hours. And that is what we're going to run our new solar setup off of. A considerable amount of storable juice. We're planning on having about 5,000 watts of energy uh, incoming solar so that should be more than enough for that kind of a battery bank and this will continue to work for many many years the the best part about these is the, the charge and discharge capacity on these many many thousands of cycles before they start to show de degradation it's usually a guarantee however many cycles this one ends up being that it's guaranteed up to 80 percent state of charge so you you have a battery that could be 10 or even 15 years old they will still produce 60, 70, or 80% of its original storage capacity. So, you know, when a lead acid battery fails, it just fails. It just isn't any good anymore. This one's not going to be like that. I think you understand what you can use something like this for. If you're watching my channel and I have any confusion, stick around. There's a whole series on solar, a whole series on installing this battery along with some others into that new solar system. Those are going to come out throughout the rest of 2024, and I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. I will, of course, leave a link to where you can get one of these, and I recommend getting into the off-grid game. We have a world that is changing rapidly around us. The ability to power equipment, power emergency equipment, and power stuff that keeps us comfortable when the lights go out is critical. Till next time, my friends. Take care.